So, quick little video here. Um, today we, uh, you know, finished all the wiring up, and as you can see, the fuel pump is where it's going to stay. There's fuel in the big tank. Everything that way is working okay. The filler spout for the for the big tank though has a has a little bit of a leak in it, so we just we just filled it with a garden hose. Anyways, um, the motor runs all right, but we need to tweak the um, idle down a little bit. It's really hard to shift gears when uh, when it's not idling slow because the clutch won't release. But uh, all my wiring's worked out really well. Um, yeah, everything works. As you can see, there's a proper battery in there, and um, the switch that I used is a uh, off of an old lawn tractor. It's the only one I could find that has the start circuit on it, but also um, the kill circuit as well. So on these switches, what they do is when you turn them off, they, they ground out um, the kill wire on the motor. Uh, so if it's any, if it's a motor like, you know, one of these old ones here, they have a kill wire on the magneto. So, and you got to have that kill circuit. So if you go buy a, a new switch, a brand new switch and I have some uh, from Princess Auto they don't work because there's no there's no kill circuit in the off position on that switch um, anyways it worked fine give me a little zap though but I think that's just because it's old and I think the, the key is probably rubbing on the contacts in there so I put a little insulation on the key and and everything's good so um, I took it out for a spin, so I didn't have my camera with me or anything like that, and uh, it's fun, you know, it's great. Um, when Dave comes back a little later, um, I'll get a video. Okay. Yep. Push the levers forward. Push the levers forward and just give her throttle. I did. I'm in high gear. You're in high gear? Yep. Oh, okay. You're sure about that? Down the oh, yeah. Okay. I see the difference. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Argo's going like crazy. 